We're standing here next to a 300 gallon oil drum that had been converted to hold a mountain lion. In 1995, we got a phone call from the Boone County Sheriff's Department telling us there sounded like a tiger and maybe a cougar in a trailer in a small community just south of Harrison, Arkansas. My wife and I, Tanya, were on the road, so we called back to the refuge and put together our, our rescue team. And they drove over to uh, Boone County. And after they got looking at the trailer, they realized there wasn't two in there, that there was 11 in there. All of them were in those two trailers. And in the front of this one was a mama with the two babies. The lady who had all the cats, she formerly was housed in Arkansas. Then she had, was on the law, run from the law from Arkansas and went to Tennessee. When she got in trouble out in Tennessee, she was coming back to Arkansas and she loaded Spitty Smitty, a mountain lion, in this barrel. And she drove him back to Arkansas along with the other 12 cats, one of which didn't make it. A leopard passed away on the trip. And she brought him to a ranch out on top of a hill and in the Ozarks. She thought she was just going to run right back to Tennessee and be right back with another load because she had like 50 something cats. She got arrested, ended up in jail, so time went by up to four weeks that we know of according to the neighbors who heard the animals there and didn't know what was going on. They could hear the cats in the cages. They'd get in fights or arguments and start growling. They were hungry. They didn't have any water. She didn't leave anybody there to take care of the animals. She thought she was going away and coming back in three days, weeks. And then so we went over, picked up the animals, moved them here. They were emaciated, dehydrated. I remember there was two lions in this uh, one lion. I, I fed him 60 pounds of meat. He ate the entire 60 pounds. I gave him 40 more and he ate about half of that. And then the next morning, the remainder was gone as well. So he ate the full 80 pounds, or 100 pounds actually, within a matter of 20 hours. Spitty Smitty lived at the refuge for at least another 12 years. And we never could put him with another cougar. He lived adjacent to cats and he would act nice and if you open the door and let him in there, he would start a fight every single time. So we determined after, after two or three attempts that Spitty just would have to live alone. He you know, had a lot of staff members that loved him and, and uh, he certainly got a lot of enrichment, but he didn't get the companionship. As we tried it with mountain lions, we were very successful and have been through the years at integrating them so they can live in groups, you know, and everybody's a lot happier that way.